Narrowboat, narrowboat, narrowboat will. Do you know, he's an absolute bounder. There we are, that's the first, that's the first coat. What do you think guys? I've painted them, tidied up the, tidied up the uh, wiring. Tomorrow, well I'm pleased how that, those lights have come out in this front end. Um, just got to redo that, make that a bit neater now. Tidy this front end up. But tomorrow I've got a um, I've got a golf match on. Me and our Leon. I haven't seen our Leon for weeks. Me and our Leon. Our poor Leon's broken down at the moment. All his batteries are flat, so I've just bought, I've just bought two solar panels for him and a solar charger. <clears throat> So one of these little panels, a tiny little thing, the one amp, completely useless. Okay for topping your battery, leaving it in the window, topping your batteries up, but for, I've ordered him two 120 watt, so that's 240 watts of solar, and hopefully get about 20 amps out of those, and, and a solar charge controller, which is 30 amps. So you want to check the amperage of the output of the solar panel, and then, you want to get at least 10 amps above what your maximum is, you know, because you get a really hot day. <laughs> yeah, you might get one hot day a year. I mean, it's still mild, it's still nice and warm, but yeah, so he's so tomorrow we've got a match on charity match at uh, Preston Golf Club members only. Uh, it's all been paid for, so I'm just going to pop down there at 10 o'clock and um, hopefully play some nice golf that'll be the day wouldn't it I'll play a really good hole and a really rubbish hole really good hole really rubbish hole really good hole your hopes are up and the next hole your hopes are dashed again golf's the game you can't win well it's a wasted walk who said that it is a wasted walk the way I play <laughs> chatty bye Oh, yeah. Lads, is this, is, this for, is this for Vaughn? I'm here with the lads. Competition, competition day. Watch yourself in a few days, isn't it? Com competition day, right? Is this, isn't it? Charity, charity competition. What? What happens at the end? He's pretty scores in and stuff. Stapleford. Yeah, Stapleford. So we enter the manor, yeah. Yeah. And uh, our scores are worked out for us. That, that definitely looks like you've done it. Oh, it's just like me, that is, yeah. <laughs> Probably Croatian version. Who's who there? Why are they them? Why are they them? Um, um, <laughs> um, I'll see you for a while. Leroy. Leroy! Leroy's travels. It's your ch channel now, isn't it? Here we are, not Bake, Bacon butter tea, cup of tea. I want to get going. I want to get going. Driving range. But you are, mate. You deal with it well, though, don't you? I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> All these cups, lot. Oh, imagine winning one of these. I've had a cabinet full of them at home. Imagine that. My me. There's four playing together in a match. Nearest the pin in two on the second, and nearest the pin on every par three out there. And you've also got a longest drive on 17. You've got the hole in one challenge on 14, and that is uh, that hole's also got a golf psychologist on, so that could either help. Or <laughs> golf psychologist, I don't need that. Yeah, every group as well should have a little bag of poker chips. Now, if your group hasn't got a bag of poker chips, please come and see me before you go out and we'll give you one. Um, basically, what is on here is you'll have certain kind of rules, such as three putt, blob, anything like that. Within your group, if on the first you three putt, you get that three putt poker chip. At the end of the round, whoever has got that chip, it passes on. So if I was to then three putt on the next, you'd give that chip to me. Whoever's got it at the end of the round pays a fine in terms of charity 
charity uh, donation. Minimum five pound per chip. No. You can obviously increase that in the team if you're being generous and want to. Um, or if you're confident you're not going to see something, make sure you that one. Um, but make sure you've come and got a bag of those off me before you go. Shotgun start is at midday, so make sure you're out on your hold, ready to go at that point. Anything else you want to know, come and find us. Apart from that, have a great day. Fingers crossed the well holds and enjoy all that. Cheers. Bunker. Go in the bunker. Oh. This is hold. This, what hole are we on now, lad? 17? Uh, seven. Seven. Seven, but 17. 18. 18. This is the last hole. This is the last hole, is it? It's our last hole now. I've done the competition. I've done all right. I've scored all right. Uh, I'll tell you the scores at the end if you're interested. Anybody? I might, I might win something. Anybody out there interested in golf? <laughs> they'll reckon it's a waste of walk, a lot of my subscribers. But some of them enjoy it, which is nice. Par five. Win behind. I'm here for, down here for two. Just par the last one with a birdie. Just missed a birdie put by about one inch. Damn it. I was going to do a birdie dance. Greens are fantastic. Tee off tee, tee off boxes are fantastic. Fairways are lovely. Very 35 mile an hour winds though today. So I'm come 30th. Leon 62nd. Oh mate, it's only the first competition. I'm coming there, look. Yeah, 30th. Oh. It's just rain and a few days of warmth, but then we've had two days of heavy wind, and now just all day rain today. End of June, June is a washout, really. June's a washout. Hope July's better. Saturday. 4 p.m. in the afternoon, not been out all day, done nothing. Just, it's been raining, staying in, doing now today. Oh, I've just been to the shop, that's about it. Got a bit of shopping. There's a little shop just here in Glass and Dock, so very, very few things to buy, but it's milk and bits and bobs, so nice. I've been <clears throat> in this spot here for about two weeks. Why? You asking? No. Um, the locks have been closed. It's been here three times. So lock number six now is closed. Uh, before it was the lock number four was closed because the pan was empty. And before that, no, it's been closed twice. The other lock that's closed is that one over there. Now I've just found out that just found out that the um, the Ribble Link Crossing is closed. Because the lock at the end of there is uh, leaking or something, so that's closed now. This is this trip over Lancaster. I mean, you've got to pre prepare yourself for stoppages, and um, this these this these locks break all the time. These six locks, isn't this no? I just I've been down here, like I said, twice. I've been two two weeks, and it's broke twice in two weeks. So once a week's not bad, is it? Eh? I'm hoping they can get it repaired. As soon as they get it repaired, we're going to leave. See, it's a very beautiful place to just sit and put your feet up, isn't it? It is really till the wind comes. But apart from that, when it's raining, apart from that, it's really nice. Very quiet. It's a beautiful view, isn't it? Just to look out the window. All these boats over all the big boats over there are all trapped. Because the sea lock is out of commission. There's a dispute of who owns that lock and who repairs it, CRT or British Waterways or something, or, or whoever, uh, the dock, Glass and Dock own it, I don't know. But the big boats have been landlocked here for 12 months. And I love that cruiser there, that is my absolute, I'd love one of those, because of its size, it's just, I can zoom in. It's just immense size, it's wide, you can walk around inside, It's you can, you can have a little gym in there and everything, that about the size of that boat. I just I really like it, I don't know why. I just really like it. Some pretty boats over there. Wide beams can get out, they're fine. All these big tall masted boats can't get out. Wide beams can go up the locks. Seems that every time a boat comes down, 
or a boat goes up, the locks fail in some way. Because now the wide beam's gone, um, the locks have failed again. So something's, something's going off. So when they've repaired, we're going to move ASAP. One thing I didn't realise about this place is that it's, it's a local meeting place for the uh, Coop Olympics. The Coops meet up and they uh, discuss techniques, diving techniques, and um, racing techniques, things like that. I didn't realise I was in such a, such a prestigious place. I mean, they're practising now. Practicing their diving techniques now, and um, they're discussing, you know, how to do it. How long you hold your breath? Um, they're talking about developing new techniques for diving, and um, the fast sprints techniques for wing flapping and sprinting on the water. They seem to like doing that. Oh yeah, it's quite an interesting place. Yeah, that's, he's showing them how to dive a lot. The other one's quite interested. They're bringing in new techniques from, from Europe and, you know, around the world. So it's quite a... I feel quite honoured, really, uh, for being here. It's, it's such a crowd. I mean, the other, the other birds fly in to watch this group. Um practice for the Coot Olympics which is absolutely fascinating there's a bit of practice going off there a lot as you can notice some diving some premature diving going off he's showing the rest how he dives and the others, others are like taking notes they're taking notes and they're writing things down under their feathers type of thing you know they've got notepads whatever you so yeah very nice being here, to be honest. Quite pleased with it. I think there's some over there practicing. Yeah, there they are. That's the sort of thing I'm talking about, that sort of standards that they. Yeah, there they are. That's the standards I'm talking about. They're quite quite high Olympiads, and uh, yeah, yeah, there they go. They're on it. Yeah, the call the cool, then the time's up. You hear that? That's the end of the session. Quick wash down lot. Yeah, very good. Well. It's very interesting. They're all here. Yeah. Thanks for showing me your, you know, let me stay here, guys. And uh, I'm very privileged. They're taking a bow. You know, they're taking a bow because they've, yeah, they've had enough. They've enjoyed it, taking a bit of a bow to the audience and to the crowd. It's very good. I didn't see their performance, but I'm sure they were good. Yeah, the audience liked them. They're off now, look. Come towards me. Hey, hey! My neighbour. It's bloody freezing. It is. I'm cold. It's like 15 degrees. It's July the 1st. June was a washout, complete waste of time. Now it's dark. It's like dark ages. It's literally dark every day. <sighs> I'm cold. I want to put a fire on. Anyway, apart from that, my neighbour wants his wants a solar panel fitting, so I'm going to fit a solar panel for him. Are we qualified? Not really, no. no I won't trust you. I know you wouldn't trust me, I know. Would you trust any would you trust a, a tradesman who doesn't do, do a very good job, or would you trust me who put it on YouTube? None of them. All right, fair enough. Just here, drilling out this um, solar panel. I put a drill through there. I'm going to put a nut and bolt through there, into there, onto there. Glue that down, and it started throwing it down. <sighs> Job over.
July the 1st, 10.30 in the morning. Fire's on. I'm absolutely freezing. It's about 12 degrees out there, I think. Hmm. Well, here we are. It's a good saying. Wherever you go, there you are. And that's it, really. Because of the naff weather, and it's going to rain for the next week, I've decided to clean my carpets, make it smell nice, because they're, they're black and flat. Oh, they look black now. It's not black, it's the different shades of whatever. And my upholstery, this upholstery is absolutely, you can see there's filth coming out of it. I'm just trying this stuff, carpet stain remover. Removes colours, gentle... I hope it's right. It seems to work anyway, it's doing its job. I mean, see the, the darkness along there and everything. Did that rug, that rug was black. Oh, it's just so, everything is so filthy. I see it, I see it as a form of exercise in my mind, you know. I just I use my left arm and my right arm and then I get a sweat on and then I, I'll, I'll lift with my legs and do squats that way and do you know what I mean? I use it as a, I don't see it as work, I just use it as a form of exercise to keep me, get my blood flowing and get me so I can sleep at night. If I don't if I just sit around, see it there, look, can't be different. If I just sit around, um, I go down, and I go down, it's weird, isn't it? Oh, what's going wrong with you? I know. I can't tell I'm talking to myself. <laughs> of course there is. There's something really wrong. Oh, okay. Right, thank you for that advice. Welcome. All right. I'm helping my, I'm helping my neighbour fit his solar panel today, and I've got these waterproof, not water, not sort of waterproof, not fully waterproof. What I'm going to do is put some silicone in the end. Two two red wires in there, <clears throat> two black wires in there, and then the other red wire is going to go into there. The black wire is going to go into there. And I'm just going to put some silicone in it. That's going to seal that those joints uh, so I'm just going to go over there and do that with him today I've got all my bits and bobs I've got my box of goodies full of connectors I've got a little box full of connectors snips and all kinds of stuff going off there which I usually I like to have in the boat let's call connector joiners and crimpers wire strippers these are quite cheap really really like these strippers and they cut as well lot with that bit there at least just crimp you electrical connectors and in, in a professional way and i've got some um heat shrink if i need it soldering iron and some solder let's go so all i've got to do is connect this to that in the neatest way possible i can think of would be nice to just go straight into there wouldn't it that'd be neatest just there, wouldn't it? Surely. I've got to think about this. I'll go inside that shroud. Go inside that shroud would be nice. So I've connected the two wires using these solderless, well, solder, solder connectors, sorry, the, I use these. And they seal and solder, well, the majority of the time, the plastic burns before the solder melts. Well, we've sealed it now, we've got it in, we've joined it up. I like the way you say we when you did it all. <laughs> that was good of you. What's that? Spare wire. Used, the, used, you know, the right tapes, red and black and all that. Now I've put some shrouding on top of the wiring. The panel's glued, we've glued, we've drilled that, put those feet on, glued it yesterday. Now it should be ready to use today. He's so clever, Will. Cheers, mate. It's simple though, isn't it? It's such a simple thing to do. When you know what you're doing. If you've got the gear, it's usually down to the gear and the tools. Yeah, Most work is down to having the right tools, that's all it is. I know, you are a tool. Yeah, I love, oh, I've got loads of tools. You know what I mean? From my, from my job. Just having the right tool at the right time, it just makes it so much easier for stripping wire, crimping, all that kind of stuff. And there we are. Just got to 
sort of tidy this up, straighten it up, put some sticky pads to the roof or something, make it nice and neat. Stop it going when it's windy, you know. This is not glued now. It's still a bit tacky, a little bit tacky, I think. That is not going anywhere. It's got a really, it's got a really round roof on this. Right, so finish the job now. I put a cowling over the wiring, put a rubber tube over the connectors, all glued down and screwed, bolted, an extra 10 amps of sun for his boat. Fantastic. Nice boat. Somebody has given me a PRM gearbox. Look at that. PRM. Which one is it? 125D2. Ooh. The only thing I've noticed is this valve. It's not... You can't press it. last time we'll see glass and dock I think it's time to go today tomorrow is raining the rest of the week's raining the, today's the only day that's dry so we're going to try and get through that lock by hook or by crook using our own initiative this is it first cruise in about two and a half weeks I've been looking at this little robot just there to visit me every day to the fence has a little look at me and it drives off again bless its heart eh it's only a robot I know but it's cute cute little robot mower if you get a chance to come down here it's well worth a visit this is the gem of the Lancaster Canal glass and dock the toilets the toilets are really posh but they're 40p a pop Get to come down here, be warned that it's risky. The locks have been closed twice. I don't like the canal's risky because that can't be good link closes, you're stuck aren't you? I'm just hoping we get through this lock and then onward to Garstang. It's a pretty little house isn't it? Plenty of water in the canal. This year's been a exceedingly this year's been a very very wet year. Uh, so we've got loads of water. There's no shortage of water in the canal, which is great. And the weed's not too bad either, you know. So I'd perhaps have had a lucky year, I don't know. Well not lucky if some rain is feels like a lucky ball. And it's still still nippy July the second. <laughs> well, whatever. It's a pretty sight though, isn't it? Such a pretty sight, first thing in the morning. 